All right, so continuing on in my pick 10 action. Next, we have True Lies, which I picked out. And I want to say, I want to start out by saying that it is, it should be considered a crime against nature that there is no proper Blu-ray uh, release. Apparently, there is a HD remaster ready, but they're waiting on James Cameron, who directed the film, to, you know, okay it. But we have not gotten to this day a an HD transfer. Apparently, there's one on Amazon, but there's only a place you can watch it. We have here the DVD, which looks like shit. It does. I started watching it. I'm sitting here going, and I'm sitting far away, and I'm like, that looks like shit. And then I was getting ready to start this uh, review. I was getting ready. I moved the chair in front of the TV because it was almost done, and I sat here watching the end. And I went, oh, it looks so much worse right in front of the TV. It, it looks like someone just took a VHS transfer and slapped it on the DVD. Nothing else, no remaster, nothing. And it says right here, digitally mastered. With what? Snot? Honestly, that's probably my biggest negative in this film for this film is yeah, the transfer. <sighs> Sorry about that, it's late. It's late. But, uh, yeah, so, True Lies stars Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jamie Lee Curtis, Bill Paxton, Tom Arnold, Tia Carrere, some terrorist guy, I don't remember, Malik, something Malik, Art Malik, I think is his name, uh, Eliza Dushku, and, uh, Chuck Heston. In a cameo role is a character who looks like old man Nick Fury from the original Marvel comics, not the the uh, Nick the Samuel Jackson one, but more like David Hasselhoff looking motherfucker. Yeah, uh, Schwarzenegger plays Harry Tasker, who is a secret agent who keeps this from his family, but he finds out that his wife may be seeing another man. But they find out this guy is just a used car dealer uh, pretending to be a secret agent <clears throat> to get Harry's wife into bed. Jimmy Lee Curtis plays his wife. I don't know if I mentioned her name, but uh, yeah. Uh, and that spills into more problems when the real terrorists actually show up. There's so yeah, uh first and foremost, I just gotta say this film starts off with one of the greatest action scenes I've ever seen in my entire life. But I do have a complaint because of what starts this. So Arnold sneaks into this party at this mansion, kind of Jal James Bond style. He sneaks in, he goes in, he dances with Tia Carrere, and all this stuff happens, and then he gets what he needs, and he leaves. As he's leaving, the security guard goes, I need to see your invitation. You don't ask for an invitation when someone's leaving the party. Just because you don't remember them doesn't mean anything. There's a thousand faces that could have went through that door. You can't remember them all. True. You never actually went through the door to go in, but I'm just saying, you don't ask for an invitation when someone's on their way out. If they've been in there and you don't remember seeing them, well, it's too late now. They've already been in there. They're leaving. What can you do? Get your ass kicked because that's what happened. And there's even this shot with his dogs where he takes the dogs and, and they fall down. They're fine, but it's just, it's just kind of funny. And then Arnold rides a horse. And so, yes, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis's character has been talking with this guy. She believes is a secret agent. 
Turns out she doesn't know her husband is actually the secret agent, but Bill Paxton plays this slimy character, which is a great character actor. He pulls off very well. He's got this sleazy looking mustache, and he's just a car dealer. The Harry, after finding about this supposed affair, decides not to, you know, like once once he realizes that there's really nothing going on. He still goes through with it like, oh, okay, we're going to let you go. But no, he sets his own wife up to dress up. We get that, you know, okay, I got to talk about this. Classic scene that everybody knows from this movie is when she's in her underwear, dancing, you know, sexy-like and stuff like that. Infamous scene. <sighs> Apparently Arnold had to tell his wife that uh, that he didn't get aroused by it. Yeah, bullshit. But, uh... <sighs> he was wishing she was his maid. Oh! But anyway, uh... <clears throat> so yeah, then the real terrorists show up. And they give Arnold this truth serum stuff. And I, I love this. He's like, she's like, he's like, is it working? I don't know. Ask me something that I would normally lie about. She goes, are we going to die? And he goes, yep. And then he, when the, when the bad guys come in, he like tells them what's going to happen. You know, and... Like, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to use you as a human shield, and then I'm going to kill them, I'm going to break your neck. How are you going to do that? I got, I, I picked my handcuffs. And so, yeah. But then, uh, the wife, Jamie Lee Curtis, gets kidnapped by Tia Carrere, and so now he, now they have to come save the day, and I love this scene because they take her out of the, the, she's in the limo, and he's trying to yell down, the bridge is out! So what? The bridge is out. The bridge is out. And she looks, she's like, oh, the bridge is out. The bridge is out. You got this, you got this look on like, bitch, I told you that already. You know, and he, he saves her. And you think this is it, right? You think this is the end of the film. There's so much that goes on in this film. There's a bathroom fight at the beginning of this. There's, you know, a bunch of other stuff. A bunch of stuff happens in this film. You think it's over. You know? Uh, they, you know... Malik is somewhere else, or the, the the bad guy, he's somewhere else. But you figure they, they're done. It's over with. And then Tom Arnold shows up and is like, oh, uh, they got Dana, which is his daughter. And I love the scene where they kind of introduce her. Uh, he gives her a snow globe. She throws it in the trash after he leaves. And then we see he has, Tom Arnold comes in with these glasses and this little thing. He sets it up and he sees his daughter stealing from him from behind. And how, how is he going to confront her about that? Because he acts like he's going to, but she runs off before he gets a chance to. But yes, the bad guys have her, so he's got to go save her in his jet. And yes, he gets that line, you're fired, and then shoots the, you know, thing and fires him out through the building. And yeah, it's cheesy. But he saves the day. And then they both become uh, secret agents. This movie is fantastic. What can I say? It's enjoyable to no fault. Uh, it's classic Arnold. It's probably, it's known as probably one of Arnold's last great movies. Because after this you had Jingle All the Way, which is still pretty good. But then you had like Eraser, Collateral Damage. Uh, the one where there's the, the Sixth Day, I think, comes after this. And then uh, End of Days, and then Terminator 3, which I, I like Terminator 3, but it's not one of Arnold's best films, that's for sure. But uh, it's one of... I would consider Jingle All the Way his last good film, actually, but, you know, this is pretty good. It's James Cameron, so you can't go wrong. And yes, James Cameron has connections in this film. He and Arnold did Terminator. Bill Paxton had a cameo role. He was the fuck you asshole guy with the blue hair. And then, of course, there's that camera connection with uh, 
Bill Paxton, where he was in, you know, he was in Aliens. Game over, man. Game over. And there's Tom Arnold, and he references his marriage, Roseanne, and the line where, like, she took everything, even the, even the, uh, even the ice cube trays, which actually happened in real life when he and Roseanne got a divorce. So, you know, and they do like to reference that in, in, in their other shows. I think Roseanne made reference to something like that. And anything he does in some of his comedy and stuff, <clears throat> other movies and stuff, it happens. Uh, Jimmy Lee Curtis, the acting, it's Arnold. It's cheesy. Of course, it is. One-liners galore. Jimmy Lee Curtis is fantastic. Bill, Ta Bill Paxton is fantastic. Old man Chuck Heston is pretty good for whatever scenes he's in. He's not in much. The villains, if I have to give like a negative, it's the villains. They're your stock. We are terrorists. We are going to blow something up. We have the nukes. Everyone's going to die. Ha, 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 ha. I don't know why he's the Count from Sesame Street, but, <laughs> you know, it's the stereotypical terrorist, you know. Their bad guys are going to blow shit up. I'm going to stop them. Stereotypical. But, uh, yeah. And like I said, it's a major crime. There's no HD transfer. Because I didn't even try. And it's DVD. DVD's not that bad. I've been watching DVDs, you know. You know, I watched The Host, Cleansing Hour, and they look really good. This looks like someone took a VHS transfer and just slapped it on a DVD. Digitally mastered my ass. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. But, I'm not going to hold that against the film because it is a very good film. However... I can't send this one to the moon. Uh, it's a good film. Uh, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's, it's just... I don't think it's moon worthy. You know what I mean? There's some films that... You know, are really, really good. Have very little flaws like this. But I can't send it to the moon. I'm sorry. So it gets a 9 out of 10. So what are your thoughts on True Lies? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I keep forgetting I gotta do this. Pull out a Blu-ray now. How did I know it was gonna be Roadhouse? I swear I didn't look. I, just, I grabbed it and I'm like, it's gonna be Roadhouse. It'll be Roadhouse. That'll be tomorrow, because I'm done doing reviewing movies for the night. I'm gonna relax. But yeah, so let me know your thoughts on True Lies in the comments below. Let me know if you think it's a travesty, there's no Blu ray, because I'll be the first one out there to buy this fucking Blu ray, man. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I've been Scotty, and we'll see you in the next one.